I just spent the last two hours compiling all of this data for you guys, whether you're a collector, investor, flipper, or whatever, just getting into Pokemon cards. What this is, is this is Sword and Shield Booster Box Sales, as you guys can see at the very bottom. This is from just like the last 10 days-ish with a little bit of this morning. April 1st to 11th, around 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time this morning. And we're going to cover all of the sets, and this is sales of sealed booster boxes from eBay and TCG Player, not including cases, not including those like loose pack, put together, whatever they call them. Um, just kind of so you guys can kind of gauge the market like sentiment and interest. Um, everyone's talking about it. Get, you got to get it now before the boat leaves on a lot of these sets. Well, let's just see kind of like, let's dive into the numbers. I did this for you guys so you can see. Let's check it out. Um, starting with, you know, everyone's most popular set, Evolving Skies. Um, we have 73 sales on eBay. And you can see the discrepancy here. 15 on TCG Player. So that's quite a bit of difference, but you guys can see, um, just looking at the chart, that Evolving Skies has been selling even at the price that it's been at. Um, this has been like on, on the eBay sales is around like 650 ish um, on average. And so, yeah, that's, I still think Evolving Skies still has room to run. It's the Golden Child set, so um, still worth picking up, I think, but I don't know when this price movement is going to like when it can increase because everyone is kind of getting into all these other sets um, like Fusion Strike. Fusion Strike is one of the ones that sold out in the Pokemon Center and then just took off. Um, this one is a lot more even. 44 sales on eBay and 29 on TCG Player. So you guys can kind of gauge this. Then uh, a lot of people were talking about and including myself um, Lost Origin. I just picked up, I have uh, two loose boosters and a case of Lost Origin, and I think three ETBs, although, once again, I'm not doing ETBs, but, um, I, and I, I just picked up the Giratina in a PSA 10, so um, I kind of am all in on, on LO for what I have going on. Um, it's right there with Fusion Strike, like literally. Um, actually, more sales. So 45 on eBay, 32 on uh, on on TCG player. Um, once this sells out on the Pokemon Center, this price, I I think this set, not as a set, Fusion Strike I think is a better set, but LO is it, that Giratina that Chase is going to carry it, and I think it's going to pass Fusion Strike. Could be wrong, but um, so just keep in mind that over the last like 10 days, market sentiment of buying um is big it's big it's it's matching fusion strike so um i think that bodes well for it um next up astral radiance um so you guys if you guys don't know this sold out in the pokemon center not as many sales on ebay um, which is surprising this is this is the only one that was like glaringly obvious so 85 on tcg player um which is kind of crazy um I, I don't know if I think the sale prices were lagging a little bit and it was cheaper on there for a little bit, but 31 on eBay. So yeah, that's really putting us up as the most bought box, um, you know, of the last 10 days. So that's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I still think, you know, worth a pickup for sure. All of these boxes are here for sure. Um, before we go any further, I just want to hop over here just for one second. Um, if you guys are watching this and you're not subscribed, because you're probably not, 98%, if you guys could, you know, hit that subscribe button, I would appreciate it. It would really mean a lot to me. I spent a lot of time on this video. Um, but let's just jump back into it. Um, so Silver Tempest. I think Silver Tempest, while overall maybe not the best set, but has a really great chase card. I like the Lugia. Don't have any boosters of Silver Tempest personally. But we're looking at 13 eBay sales and 24 TCG. So uh, a lot of people are predicting that this is going to be one of those sets that takes off. Kind of in the conversation with Brilliant Stars and Lost Origin, but it's kind of like lagging behind. And the numbers would kind of agree with that. Um, next up, Brilliant Stars. A lot of people, um, some people have been saying that Brilliant Stars will pop before Lost Origin. However, if this is any indication, um, once again, we don't know... Um, like what Pokemon Center numbers are. Um, so this isn't track that and the, obviously no TikTok sales and stuff. But I would say 
most people buy from eBay and TCG player as a rule. So I think this gives a good market sentiment. So Brilliant Stars though, I thought this was going to be higher um, with that Charizard uh, chase. 24 on eBay, 11 on TCG player. So, I mean, people just aren't scooping in, scooping these sets up. Um, Chilling Rain, on the other hand, 53 on eBay, 53 and 26 on TCG player. So, a lot of people more interested in Chilling Rain, um, and rightfully so. Um, so, I mean, you know, it's it's a good set as well. Most of these sets are all the Sword and Shield era is is great. Um, Battle Styles. Battle Styles is one of our most even between um, eBay and TCG. We got 33 sales on eBay and 36 on TCG. This was a little bit surprising. Um, a lot of people are kind of down on Battle Styles. Um, I personally, I only have like two boxes, but um, the price has risen just a little. I think it's at like 115 a box now. Um, so it's gone up just a little bit. But um, yeah, I was surprised to see these sales, like Battle Styles over Brilliant Stars and Silver Tempest. For real, but uh, it is a lot more affordable. But I don't think that set's very good, personally. Um, then we got Vivid Voltage. Um, I mean, you know, you can see the disparity here: twenty-eight to eBay and seven on TCG. And yeah, so we're just we can see this after like this point. This is like the stair step down. Um, just kind of in popularity of the sets. Um, then Darkness Ablaze. Once again, higher on eBay, 28 on eBay, 4 on TCG Player. Rebel Clash with 13 and 2 on TCG Player. That was, yeah, that's low. Um, and then Sword and Shield Base, 5 and 4. Pretty even, but um, yeah, really just like lacking here. So I hope that this uh, video gives you guys a little bit more idea of market sentiment, um, just kind of like what people are buying. Um, it, like I said, it took me a while to crunch these numbers, and I put it into this little um, bar graph for you guys. Hope you appreciate that. Um, if, Like I said earlier, if you guys want to subscribe, and that would mean a lot to me, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think, what you guys are picking up, um, if any of these. Um, if you guys would like me to do this, something similar, like maybe we can do, uh, I can do with ETBs. I can do it with um, booster box cases. I could even include all of those. Let me know um, if you guys want that data. Um, because I think this is uh, this is pretty relevant. You guys can kind of see, you guys can see market sentiment. So, um, I still think uh, to end this final thoughts. I think LO. Um, that's where I've kind of hedged my bet. But at the same time, I still don't think you can go wrong with Fusion Strike and Silver Tempest and Brilliant Stars. I still think are good as well. It just it seems like. Um, people are kind of getting out of evolving a little bit. I mean, obviously not the sales are there, but I just mean when the boxes get too high in Fusion Strike, then they go to the next one that can pop, which was Astral. And then, so now that Astral's popped, which is going to be the next one to go out of sale on TCG Player and pop, it's kind of like people are are, are jumping around a little bit. Um, so yeah, overall, I mean, be interested to see how these numbers track um, throughout the month. And yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, like I said, let me know if you want more info. And uh, remember, it was never a phase.